Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to download and install MySQL on a Mac OS operating system. So we're going to need three things. We're going to need the community server. We're also going to need the workbench and also the connector. So I'm going to go ahead and download the DMG files. For the actual community server, I'm going to download the second DMG file. You don't need to sign up for anything. Just click on no thanks. Just start my download. All right, once your files have been downloaded, go to your downloads folder. All right, so the first thing we're gonna install is the actual server. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this one. Double click on the file. I'm gonna go ahead and click on allow. Click continue, continue, hit agree, install. Insert your password. Now when you get to this selection, I'm gonna go ahead and use the legacy password encryption. I'm gonna click on next. For your password, go ahead and enter a password that you are gonna remember. Click on finish, enter your password again, and then click close. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move to trash. So after that's installed, I'm gonna go ahead and install the workbench. I'm gonna go ahead and move this icon into the applications folder. After you install the workbench, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. All right, so before installing the connector, we have to download something else. And I'll go ahead and provide you the links to this page, but I'm just gonna download the stable version. I'm going to click on the second link here. Now I'm going to install this IODBC. Click on the package. Click continue, continue, agree, click continue, install, enter your password. Click on close. We're going to go ahead and move that to the trash. Now let's try and install the connector. Double click on the package. Click continue, continue, agree, install. Enter your password here. Click on close and go ahead and move that to the trash as well. All right, now on your applications folder, go to my SQL workbench. We're gonna click on open. Here, I'm just gonna click on add. I'm gonna add a connection name. I'm gonna click on test connection. Enter your database password. I'm going to save password and keychain, hit OK. So now we have successfully made a connection to the database. Click OK, hit OK. Now I'm going to double click on this new connection we just created. All right, now under schemas, here's where our data is going to be stored. So now let's try and establish a connection using R. So if we go to R Studio, I'm going to try and send some data into this database. I'm going to require some packages here. And for the data, I'll just be using some stock data from Yahoo Finance. So I'll be assigning the ticker here. I'm going to go ahead and get data from Yahoo Finance. I'm going to remove the ticker name from the column names. And then I'm going to go ahead and convert that into a data frame. I'm going to rename my first column to date. And I'm also going to add a column for the ticker name. So if we take a look at stock, now we have date, open, high, low, close, volume, adjusted, and symbol. Now we have to set the column classes. So in the script, we're gonna send date as date. All the data is gonna be a double, except for the volume, which will be an int, and also the symbol, which will be a variable character. So we're gonna go ahead and assign the field types. All right, now we're gonna try and establish a connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these lines. Now to actually write the data, I'm gonna pass in my connection to DB write table. My table name will be this, open, high, low, close volume, passing in my data frame and my field types. I'll go ahead and run this line. So now if you open up Workbench, I'm going to right click on this space and click Refresh All. So now we see our table here. I'm going to right click it and select Rows. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this. So now we see that our table is in here and all the data looks correct. So this concludes the video guys. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description area where you can find the script. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.